I see you. I'm inside him. Oh shit. That is basically a, a real good example of what Twitch does to your clips once you've streamed. <laughs> If you guys don't know me, my name is Marv, aka Muffin Man Marv. So I just wanted to talk about why the move to, to YouTube versus staying over on Twitch. Personally, there's a few pros and a few, there's a few cons for me. Right. The pros of moving to YouTube. The, en the encoder is amazing. Right. I haven't dropped a single frame since streaming on YouTube. Um, as well as when it comes to creating content and wanting to be a f content creator and that do do that youtube is way better let me explain right. um you can create four different types of content so you've got your live content that we're doing right now this is a live video um and then we've got your short form content okay You've got stuff like the stories, you've got stuff like the Kobe, missed it. You've got stuff like um, the shorts, which isn't official in a lot of countries, but there is ways around it. If you would like to know how to do, post a short, comment below, and I'll, I'll show you how. Um, and, the, and your long form, so like your, your videos that you put out there. Now, I'll tell you now, right, the... On, on Twitch, the clips and discoverability is pretty, pretty dog shit, right? It's pretty bad. You make a clip, the people in your, in, in your, in your stream at that time may see it, they may not see it, um, and then a few people will see it after that. But unless you're a bigger, bigger challenge channel, it won't really, um, it won't really have, have a longer life, shelf life per se. Now, let's do an experiment, guys. Go and look at the analytics for my last couple of shorts that I put up and they all most of them are between that five six hundred and a thousand views those are essentially my clips that's what I'm using as clips now on twitch you get nowhere near that not even close right not even close so that has boosted a bunch of discoverability um on, on the topic of discoverability, you can just search things on YouTube, right? You search, say you search Immortals Phoenix Rising. Um, there is actually a YouTube gaming section as well, which a lot, a lot of people know about. Just search YouTube gaming and you'll see that, right? But if you just search Immortals Phoenix Rising, it will show you everybody in your region that is streaming, big or small. It'll show you everybody, right? So... In my opinion, discoverability is way better. Personally, personally. Oh my goodness, what a parry. Let's just, let's just kill this bear and we'll get back to it. Nailed it. You threw a, you threw a rock at me, bro? Are you kidding me? Let me, just, let me just fuck this bear up and fuck this Minotaur up and we'll get back right back to the topic. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah? Oh. Come on, boy. I see you. I'm inside him. Oh shit, we got murked. Alright. Huh? So, that is basically a, a real good example of what Twitch does to your clips once you've streamed. <laughs> Just mergs them. No, no, no. So, the other pros of being on YouTube, guys, versus being on Twitch. The encoder is amazing. You can, you can watch a stream in whatever resolution you want. Obviously, I can stream in the max resolution that I want. I can stream up to 4K. You cannot do that on Twitch, right? Twitch ain't gonna let you do that. Where's my mouse? Oh, my horsey? Come here. Come here, horsey. Get out of here. Um, yeah, Twitch ain't, Twitch ain't looking, gonna let you do that. Even as an affiliate, you're capped to 1080p 30. 
I think it is. You can get up to 60 on YouTube. Which is amazing, obviously. Right? What else are we going to discuss? So, when it comes to just pure quality encoding wise, obviously YouTube is up heads and shoulders above. Now, YouTube has also done a few things. They've, uh, they seem to be progressing quite nicely on a, in the game plan, on a roadmap of making streaming a priority for them. How do I know this? in the last month that i've been on youtube they've added hdr support they've got an obs plugin they're doing a lot of things they're ticking a lot of boxes twitch honestly hasn't changed for the last few like major changes last few years it's been the same it's been the only show in town so people are scared to obviously move it's super saturated um youtube gives me the vibes of like Mix of vibes minus obviously the slave, slave remit, slave mentality. Obviously, right? It's not that obvious, but if you weren't part of the the mixer generation, you don't know that mixer essentially closed down because it could not. Um, yeah, there there was a something got leaked of a, an executive calling all of us mixer people slaves. Right? You see the color of my skin? I'm not too impressed right um that furthermore back to the point of this video um copyright stuff youtube or uh, twitch twitch sort of seems to want to put it all on the streamers heads uh people are like getting dms dc d dmca strikes dcma one of those two but i, I, I I forget what they're called by getting those strikes and it pissing a lot of people off they have to having partners are having to delete vods etc and hello twitch is owned by amazon they have amazon music they could fix that if they wanted to but they obviously don't too much money richest man in the world too much money apparently youtube went through this about 10 years ago right they went through the copyright issues about 10 years ago so there is a roadmap that they could have just followed but they refused to follow that roadmap and now we are where we are with twitch people everyone's pissed off nobody knows what they're doing when it comes to youtube they've obviously handled it uh, to the point where now when you get a copyright strike you can actually remove that portion of audio and keep your voice in a video it's in a beta feature it's in a beta at the moment um with the youtube YouTube discoverability is is way way better, guys. It's got that small that small small feel that uh, Twitch doesn't have anymore. Um, and look, Twitch like like I said, that copyright issue, Twitch hasn't really dealt with, and I don't think they will because they know they're the only show in town. People need them, right? Which is a bit a bit shit. Not gonna lie, I've got a lot of friends. I've got a lot of friends over there in, in in Twitch land, and it's just stacking up for me. YouTube is just stacking up for me. It made sense. Right? I'm not again, I'm not completely against at all. That effect, I, I'm a big fan. I don't obviously don't want to make this video to, to bash on Twitch or anything. 
because there's a, there's a place. There's a place for everything. And everything in its place. You know? So I definitely don't want it to come across that way. I love I love Twitch, man. I love anywhere that allows me to do what I love, you know? I enjoy this shit. Um, but yeah, hopefully we got a YouTube video out of that. Because, again, I don't want to shit on Twitch. Uh, Twitch has been a good home, but I feel like they've got a, a bunch of things that they need to work on. Look, comment below. Let me know what you think. Um, am I right? Am I wrong? What do you agree with? What don't you agree with? Uh, am I being a whinging little bitch or is it justified? But from now on, this is where I'll be. I will be on YouTube. Uh, just to make make this, this can be an announcement for you guys. I'll be on YouTube uh, for every single stream. I don't think I'll go back to Twitch. My personal, my personal choice. Do what you want to do, but just know that yeah, I won't be there anymore. I'll be here. So make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like the videos that I put out. It definitely helps. Like those clips. Let's go. Appreciate you guys stopping by. That's Muffin Man Mob, guys. We out.